But as producer, I knew that uh, just uh, doing a plain old uh, superhero show would not uh, uh, sell, uh, fly too well, and, uh, especially as an original story. And so uh, I knew that uh, we needed uh, a new gimmick to the show. And as a producer, I wanted uh, to incorporate a lot of uh, human drama into the story. And uh, this was the time around the Beijing Olympics. So I saw a uh, Japanese swimmer uh, doing a press interview in tears saying that uh, he doesn't have Speedo uh, uh, sponsorship, so he's not allowed to wear Speedo. And, and I think that's a drama. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I think uh, that the idea comes to me, uh, sponsor and athlete. Athlete change it to hero. That's I think uh, that's an interesting story. Maybe so. And And uh, if I start talking about what the problems were, um, my 90 minutes will not be sufficient to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> and about one big problem we had was... Uh, How do you manage? <laughs> <laughs> My 
girlfriend's Chinese. <laughs> So this was a project full of uh, elements that were uh, mostly um, considered uh, bust. That's another biggest pro uh, problem. <laughs> uh, speaking of Kotetsu's age, though, uh, a lot has been made about the target demographic of uh, Tiger Bunny. It's, um, it's been made to appeal to a slightly different audience than the usual, uh, the usual anime. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with the characters, but a lot of it, uh, you've also put a lot of energy in creating a story that's geared towards a different audience. Could you tell us about that? Target. 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 今はあの昔はアニメをよく見てたんだけれども、今最近見なくなった人たちにまず見てもらいたいなと思います。We uh, had uh, two target audiences in mind for Tiger and Bunny. Uh, one is the uh, former anime fan, the uh, old school people who used to watch anime but uh, no longer. で、あのまあもう一つはあの最近こう外国のドラマ、まあすなわちアメリカの1時間ドラマ、実写ドラマ。をよく見ている人たち、まあでえっとかつ働こうとなる人たちに向けてま作ろうと思ってました。And uh, the other target demographic uh, viewers we had in mind uh, were viewers, uh, Japanese viewers of uh, American uh, prime time uh, live action TV shows, and those who would watch those, and those who were uh, mature and were in the uh, workforce. え、ですので、そのためにあの、いくつかの要素を、え、入れたいなと思ってました。And uh, uh, so that's why I wanted to incorporate a couple of other elements into the show to uh, appeal to them. え、まずまああの、しっかりした、え、ま、脚本があること。Uh, one thing, uh, the script had to be uh, well written. で、あとはま、え、コメディ要素だったり、あとあの、ダイアログの掛け合いの面白さだったり、and uh, we have had uh, elements of uh, comedy and uh, witty dialogue. And uh, we wanted to incorporate and then we wanted to appeal not just to a Japanese audience but to a uh, worldwide audience. Uh, so the setting of the show takes place in a uh, near future of Manhattan like uh, city, uh, and uh, the characters are also uh, racially diverse. Okay. Now, speaking about the target audience uh, in Japan, uh, as well as we can see here, uh, Tiger Bunny is very popular with the feeding female audience, very popular with the, uh, as we can see uh, here. In Japan, uh, I mean, we've got a special name, uh, the Pujoshi really <laughs> loves Tiger Bunny. <laughs> so, uh, did, did this I surprise you? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, it's Frankly not. speaking, it's so uh, I didn't, mm, not, I did not care much, uh, 
uh, so-called Fujoshi. And so I'm really, um, I, I'm so surprised at this situation. So he didn't mean to get uh, Okay. Uh, we have two themes. Uh, one is never give up mind. Uh, stands for like content spirit. And the another, the another one is uh, bonds between human, like heroes and like content uh, and binary. So it's a bit of a wedding show. Yes. Uh, now, you were telling yeah. me there, there's some interesting stories about uh, things that happened uh, in terms of, uh, we're going back to the advertising, in terms of pitching like logos and the sponsors for the various characters. Uh, and in fact, one of the most interesting stories, um, one of the characters had uh, logos uh, prepared, but uh, something happened and the, the sponsor decided to pull out. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have, so I have many, many episodes of uh, sponsor logos uh, uh, episode. So one is uh, Fire Emblem. He is, uh, as you know, gay. <laughs> <laughs> and at first, uh, one, company uh, was interested in Fire Emblem. And at that time, that company did not know scenario and his character. And after that, uh, the company uh, knew uh, Fire Emblem it was gay. <laughs> and that point, that company said, uh, sorry, we, we cannot sponsor to him because he's gay. Uh, our company, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's such episode. <laughs> no, when, the, when the characters were created, their physical designs, um, you were thinking about sponsors with some of them, right? Uh, yeah, for example, Gyukaku, uh, Rock Bison. <laughs> As you know, uh, Rock Bison is, uh, mo he, his motif is Bull Bison. And so uh, when we were doing uh, character design work, uh, he was always going to be based on, on uh, the uh, ox uh, motif for his design. So as a producer, I knew that uh, his corporate sponsor had to do something to with had to do something to do with uh, bovine uh, things. <laughs> so the first uh, corporate sponsor uh, we sought was uh, Gyukaku, the Japanese uh, Korean barbecue chain. <laughs> and uh, and um, they were very happy to sponsor him. <laughs> I think uh, Blue Rose's sponsors would be okay with my drink. Yeah, as you know, uh, Blue Rose uh, has Pepsi logo. <laughs> and in Japan, Pepsi is a And the Japanese agent for, for Pepsi is a uh, beverage uh, maker called uh, Santori. Santori-san was, a few years ago, a 